I shall be up next. It is this. It was a hand-drawn poster from the Ladies' Society's roasted corn stall. It was a really bad sketch done by a housewife. An anthropomorphic roasted corn drawn without any sort of real plan. Its very existence invited a sense of sorrow to the viewer. What? What? I don't... What? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the sound of blood jetting out of Reyna's nose. It seemed to have been rated higher than Mion's. I really didn't get it. It feels like your artistic sense is a little advent grade by about five eons. <laughs> I am not doing that laugh. Those were nothing but mass-produced signs, after all. They had no chance against something hand-drawn. I couldn't even begin to follow the way those guys were thinking. Then I will be next. <laughs> next is Rika-chan, is it? What can you do? What can e What can you even do without anything? Did you and Satsuko both forget? If Rika-chan felt like it, she could simply... After moving back about 10 yards, she began waddling up to Reina. Oh my god. Seeing that both Mion and Satsuko gasped. <laughs> oh, oh no! Too late. Rika-chan tripped over nothing and lay motionless after falling down. Reina hurried over to her. Rika-chan, are you alright? Alright? Rika-chan had a lump on her forehead and tears welled up in her eyes. Only her fingers peeked out from her sleeves. This was the vital part. The palms of her hands were covered by her sleeves. Me. <laughs> she just made a single sound. Me? Whatever that was. <laughs> going to take you home. Raina's gonna get arrested for, like, fucking kidnapping or some shit by the end of this, I swear to god. I'd completely forgotten about... forgotten that. The play that I personally had to use. Reina's face went completely red, her head bobbing back and forth with excitement. She embraced Rika-chan and began rubbing her cheek against her. Restraining order. That's <laughs> I'd expect no less from her. Not a single element was overlooked. Lolly! Shrine Maiden! Brink of Crying! Mew! I... Kei-chan's方が分かんねえセンスしてるよ。I literally couldn't read the rest. <laughs> it was perfect. A simple trip transcended into pure moe. Now that is what you call art. Kei-chan has a pretty uh, weird definition of art. I'll just pretend the I'll just pretend the sharp sting of those words cutting through me like a razor was a figment of my imagination. Rika-chan turned her gaze to me with a daunting smile as she was caressed by Reina, who was in full cute mode. Now, Keiichi, can you beat me? That cold smile is frightening, Rika-chan. It must just be my imagination, but I see a demon inside of her sometimes. Keiichan seems to have his own plan of attack. I wonder what he's going to show her. 
I also wish to observe the play Keiji-san will make. Could it be? Is Keiji also going to give a performance? I basked in their pointed stares. I pulled Reina, who gave no sign of canceling out of cute mode, away from Rika-chan. Cute thing. Keiji-kun, let go! I'll show you something even cuter. So just hold on for now. Huh? Oh? S something even cuter? But it's a bit too crowded here. Let's go back there. Uh... Reina looked very surprised as I pulled her behind the shrine. <laughs> FBI, open up! I cannot fathom what Keiji-san could possibly be planning. Keiji-san wouldn't stoop to... No. Would he? Keep on fighting. Yeah. After a bit, I returned. And after a, and a bit after that, so did Reina, dragging her feet. <laughs> There's no way that scoundrel Keichan did something to innocent little Reina. Mion and Satsuko passed by me, heading straight to Reina. <laughs> what did he do to you? For a moment, Reina was too dazed to realize someone was talking to her. Gasp. Oh, it's me, Chan. Uh, are you all right? Did K-Chan do anything to you? No, he didn't do anything strange to me. This is quite severe. Exactly what did Keiji-san show you? <laughs> um, it was so cute. <laughs> the D. <laughs> what did he show you, Reina? Reina let out a long howl. Her eyes sparkled as she spoke. Sorry. What? It was Keiichi Kun's furry little seal. What? I'm sorry. What? Wham! Womp! In the blink of an eye, Mion and Satoko's elbows smashed into my face. Huh? What? What? Showing Reina something so dirty. You sick pervert. I saw you beaten into oblivion. Wait, 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 wait. You've got it all wrong. All right. Look. Showed her literally someone else's dick. It's cool. A dark billowing aura flowed from Mion and Satoko. It was no good. They're gonna kill me. I'm not sure what's going on, but you've got it all wrong. You see, Keiji-kun had... It's a fur seal keychain. Rika-chan stuck her hand into my pocket and pulled out my keychain. We <laughs> didn't take her downtown. <laughs> oh, God. He said he made it long ago for one of his summer school assignments. He said he doesn't show it to uh, show it. He doesn't show it other often. 
I... Because it's embarrassing. Uh, yeah. So small and cute. He tried his best to make it. It's so wonderful. Oh. Oh. This old man thought you meant it was Keiichi's... <laughs> I'd expect no less from me on son. You misconstrue things in the wildest ways. Why does she say this old man? I don't know. It's something she does. They slung insults to each other and looked like they were ready to tear into each other at any second. I beg of you. If I'm in the clear, would you mind getting off of me? We were interrupted by the flash of a camera. Yeah, I mean, uh, hey guys. They all seem energetic as usual. It was Tomatake-san. As I lay crumpled on the ground, Neon and Satsuko continued to bicker above me. Rika-chan was patting me on the head and Reina was still in cute mode. It was probably quite a lively scene. It's a fine evening indeed, although it's rather poor etiquette to photograph a lady without her permission. That's right. At least you don't really need Satsuko's permission. Satsuko dug her heel into me. Good evening. Uh, you're heading back tomorrow, aren't you? Or were you able to take lots of good photos? Yes, thanks for asking. I got plenty of good shots. Tonight's the last we can see old Tomatake-sama, isn't it? It's such a shame. Hurry up and have your major breakout soon. Just as rude as ever, aren't you? Bro, I am sad I won't be able to hear that voice of yours for almost half a year. Be sure to have as much fun as you can tonight. You'll be back in Tokyo tomorrow, after all. That's true. I'll be another six months. Until I can enjoy another night where I can see the stars. Tomatake-san looked up at the night sky cheerfully. At that moment, even though he was smiling, I sensed a bit of sadness. Why don't you move here, Tomatake-san? In Hi Hinamiyazawa. Tomatake-san was speechless. It's not very convenient here. No shops. Or reception sports. Recreational. Not receptional. Uh, I did not say that. There might be... There might not be anything really here, but... You know. Everyone knew what I was trying to say. They just knew I was stupid and couldn't actually say it. Tomotake-san was also well aware. So Reina, Mion, Satsuko, and Rika-chan, none of them butted in. I've only been here for less than a month, so I don't really know everything about it. Normally I'm a really talkative guy, but in situations like this I'm at a loss for words. Even though all this was happening in such a boisterous setting, it felt like all the background noise was fading into the distance. This place is probably... Tomotake-san rested his hand on me gent gently, silencing me. Thank you. Keiichi-kun. Mion-chan and Reina-chan. Satsuko-chan and Rika-chan. Tomotake-san's smile was so s slight it looked as if it was going to crumble at any minute, but it was warm. I also think it would be great if I could live here. Those might have been cruel world words coming from a kid who didn't need to worry about working to feed himself. A hand touched my back. It was Reina. <laughs> you shouldn't pick on adults. It's not nice. <laughs> Tomatake, my boy, you're buff as fuck. Look, he's been taking the Joe Star, uh, the Joe Star workout really paying off. He just needs to, like, do weird poses every time he takes pictures. That's also how he pays the bills. Mm -hmm. 
background clamor of the festival returned. We won't be seeing him for a while after all. We need to make sure Tomitake-san also enjoys tonight. When Reina smiled, the mood instantly got brighter. That's true. I think I'll do just that. Hey, Michan. How about it? Can we let Tomitake-san in our club activities? That's a great idea. Or so I thought, but Mion had a snobbish look on her face. One of the requirements for membership is residence in Hinamiyazawa, you see. Come on, Michan. Just for today, don't be mean. Well, he does come around often every year. I'll make him an honorary citizen. Yay! <laughs> More like Kinshro. Eh, close enough. Now then, I wonder if this age fellow well past his prime will be a match for me. Let's have him show us the wisdom of a mature adult. Something we're clearly lacking between all four, five, five, five of us. Can you keep up with us, youngins? I never thought I'd ever have to read that word ever. Uh... Tomatake-san stepped back slightly at our audacious grins. I, Mion Sonozaki, club president, do hereby authorize honorary citizen Tomatake-san's entry into our club. Her words were quickly drowned out by her our cheers. <laughs> what do you mean by club? What our club does, you see, in order to cope with our complicated society, we perform various activities with various roles. Sometimes they are in your favor, and sometimes they work against you. I'm pretty weak, so I prefer you not single me out. Let's try to get along. <laughs> if you wish to mock our childish games, then this will be the perfect opportunity. We'll leave you with nothing and beat you into the depths of hell. So it's a club where we play games together. Of course, Rika-chan was the only one to give an answer that made sense. All right, just what I wanted. I'll take you up on that challenge. Don't be too rough on me, my mentors. Tomitake-san got riled up into the victory pose like he was, uh, ten years younger. See, I told you, he's fucking doing the Joestar workout. Fucking pulled a victory pose. That's perfect. We continued walking to the festival with Mion in the front. Now we looked like a family of six. It had some intensity to it. Same rules as always, the loser will of course be subject to a penalty. Tomitake san was a bit surprised, but to us it was just the same as always. Regardless of how terrible a penalty it was. Just don't lose. Reina was also brimming with determination. She had clearly put way too much time into playing Undertale. She didn't have any intention of losing. That's true. I tussled Reina's hair to lighten the mood. She giggled to hide her embarrassment. I see. This is what it means to feel like a kid again. Tomotake-san whispered that to nobody in particular. At that moment, we heard an old man call out in a strong voice. Looking over, I realized it, uh, it was the man Mion had greeted right before the festival. You're here. Little Miss Sonozaki. Since you brought quite the crowd. We came to eradicate your entire stall. His stall was a shooting gallery. It was the usual setup where you had to knock down the prize you wanted with a cork gun. I have never been to a shooting gallery like this. Every shooting gallery I've ever been to was fucking, uh... uh every shooting gallery I've ever been to was a boring one where you just shot a thing and then you got a shitty prize. <laughs> Not you shot what you wanted. Uh, 
I just noticed that gun three. <laughs> The rules are simple. Three shots, the winner is whoever gets the biggest prize. Everybody shouted their agreement. There was no need to consider how to win since the condition for victory was simply was simply size. Simply size. The biggest prize at the stall, it went without question. It was that one, wasn't it? Uh, that teddy bear. Cute. Reyna was gazing longingly at a stuffed at a large stuffed animal. Where? I don't fucking see it. Are we looking at the same mat? Are we looking at the same area? It was intentionally placed on an unsteady platform so it was possible to get it if you hit the right spot. It's magnificently set up to make someone think that. Not bad, Keiichi-san. I figured you would see through this scam instantly. Yeah, but none of them were like large size. The most logical course of action would be to aim for some candy or a doll. The intent analysis had already the intent yeah analysis had already begun. In this club you'll get eaten alive if you don't come prepared. Everything hinges on what plan you can come up with before the main event. At some point a large crowd had gathered around us making a big fuss. There was this much of a following for our club's infamous event. Knocking that bear down ensures a win. Only three shots. To use them all just trying. That'd be rough. Hey! I have other customers waiting, you know. Who's up first? First one has the advantage of being able to aim for the easier prizes. But it's dangerous to compete without knowing the gun's quirks. Tomotake-san's take on the situation was pretty good. He gets what our club is about. Well then, to be fair, how about using rock, paper, scissors to decide? How about it? That's really the only way. Rock, paper, scissors. After a couple of matches, it ended up with me on being first. I didn't want to end up first. Oh well. I'll just think of it as a handicap. Gramps! Gun! Here you go. When the shooting range guy handed her a rifle, Mion looked it over intently. She didn't forget to check the cork bullet either. This gun is brand new, isn't it? No faults. Not bad. Mion raised the gun in one swift motion. It was completely different from her careful inspection. She was shooting from the hip. Fire. Reload. Fire. Reload. Fire. Flop. Flop, flop. Three candy boxes fell, one after the other. A big haul. <laughs> Heavy machine gun! The crowd paused in a moment of awe and then erupted in cheers. <laughs> Rocket launcher. That, that was quite good. Tomatake san was at a loss for words after seeing such shooting prowess. <laughs> Rocket punch! Amazing, Michan! Three! Three! Her accuracy was incredible. Her choice of targets wasn't bad either. The three Mion had gone after were fairly large and pretty easy to knock over. They were all targets with very high return on investment. Who's up next? Satoko? 
Careful, the bullets are light. Next was Satoko. The rifle looked a bit big for her lith body, but it didn't seem like she had any problem with the weight. Of course, I shall aim for the grand prize. Oh god. Oh. Oh, that tastes funny. You ever get one of those times where you're about to burp, but then a little bit spills out, and you're just like, oh, God, nope, that didn't, that didn't feel right. Mmm, mmm, yeah, nope. Oh. She proclaimed that she was going after the teddy bear. Damn, Satsuko, such a bold move. The moment she knocks it over, she's guaranteed to be in first. Good luck, Satsuko-chan! Satsuko was the opposite of Mion. She aimed at the targets quite carefully and squeezed the trigger. Bah, these bullets are too light. The first two bullets struck the bear in the torso, but it only shifted a bit. You need to aim higher towards the head or it won't work. Satsuko's third bullet wasn't aimed at the bear, but at the candy box below its arm. I hate to say it, but the appears the bear is just too much for me. She went boldly after the big catch, but since she switched over to less impressive prey at the last second, the crowd only gave a strained laugh. Were they laughing because she lacked the courage? These fools know nothing. A fine attempt, Satoko. You've gotten better. The palm of Mion's outstretched hand went plump as it tapped down lightly on Satoko. She appeared to just be talking hot air, but this was actually completely calculated. I believe the idea, Drago, is that they're knocking it backwards, still on the uh, shelf, not off the shelf. Damn that Satsuko, just to avoid being in last place, she dared to switch over to an easy target. Without shame or honor. Magnificent. You magnificent lolly, I read your book! I'll allow you to take the bear, Reina san. I pray for your victory. Okay, okay. Thanks so much, Satoko chan. Oh, Mr. Bear is so cute! Reyna was up next. She couldn't hit the broad side of a barn as regular Reyna, but she said that bear was cute. I wonder how Reyna-chan will do. I hope she's able to hit at least one. You underestimate Reyna, Tomitake-san. <laughs> it's Reyna, you know. It's Reina Ryugu? Yeah, you know. If it was to get that teddy bear... <laughs> Wait, why was Colossus in the crowd? Tomitake-san wheeled around to see what all the commotion... What the, uh, commotion the spectators were making was about. If it was to get that bear, she'd be able to shoot through a pinhole. The one known as Reina Ryuga. Ryugu? Uh, I keep wanting to call her Ryuga, I don't know why. Could do it. <laughs> it's shaking! Cute! Uh, I hate her dialogue. Reina couldn't hide her excitement over the bear's slow rocking. Now, Reina couldn't lose. <laughs> Not bad, Reina san. The less collected you become, the stronger you get. Eh, yeah, tomato, tomato, it sounded similar. Look, I know, I just recently played that game like Thursday. Oh! Anyways.
Another big cheer. Reyna's bullet hit the bear's forehead again. Not enough. The bear seemed to wobble more than before. Thank <laughs> you.